My name is Tyler Jones. This is my wife, Ray Lynn, and this is our son, Liam. <laughs> Liam is 11 years old. He has cerebral palsy, which for him means that he's a quadriplegic in a wheelchair. He has epilepsy. He has a feeding tube, and uh, he's nonverbal. Before the school closures earlier this year, um, Liam was in the general education classroom. For him, that means he needs to have a nurse with him full time, and he would get to be involved in all the classroom activities with his peers and his friends. It's a remarkable thing to see kids uh, become friends with somebody who can't speak to them. They see him for who he is. They see his soul, they see his spirit, and they love him, they know him, they care for him. I truly believe that the people here in the district at the school, they do care about Liam and they want what's best for him, but obviously their hands are tied. Um, now, Liam is in limited in-person instruction. For him, that means that he is, he is able to uh, go to school for two hours a day, and they do a very abbreviated form of, of education there. Liam is in a classroom by himself at the school. He is one of the only students at the school. So he is in a room with just a nurse and an educator and they pull up uh, the teacher on Zoom on a screen. So he doesn't have, there's no socialization, there's no peers there. Um, the door is often locked. So he's just in this room by himself, missing out on everything that school is supposed to be. We were hopeful that the state and the ODE, the Oregon Department of Education, would utilize the summer, that they would use that time to come up with a creative solution, and that they would take into account all the kids in our state who are on IEPs, kids like our son, Liam. No one put together a plan that took into account those kids. I think that says a lot about our state, and it's disheartening, and it's disappointing, and it's wrong. And so what we are asking for is for the state to make this right. Not just for Liam, but for all the other kids on IEPs who are also denied their education right now. This isn't right, and it needs to be made right. We want to thank the Freedom Foundation for recognizing how important these issues are. There are few things more important in life than standing up for those who can't stand up for themselves.